Hybrids, the Sons of Gods, is not what you might expect from a typical superhero comic book. There's no magic hammers, no vats of toxic chemicals, and there's no parents shot in the alley. There is, however, genetics and a fair amount of actual history and lore that feeds this story. The book of Genesis tells a story of the sons of gods, or angels, coming to earth and seeing the daughters of men and taking them as wives. These unholy unions produce what we call Nephilim. Every major religion on the planet records something of these creatures. The earliest accounts of the Nephilim predate the Greek gods by a few hundred years, and many scholars actually believe that the Greek gods are exaggerations of real-life Nephilim. Now, these Nephilim, the real-life inspiration for the Greek gods, could have passed their angelic DNA down to their descendants. That's the basis for the world I've created. The genetic offspring of the Greek gods have been walking the earth none the wiser until something starts to happen to wake up this ancient trait. People start to develop godlike abilities seemingly out of nowhere. The most intriguing aspect is that you or I could actually potentially possess this Nephilim DNA. We could possess a recessive trait that rather than give us red hair or blue eyes, gives us the ability to lift entire buildings or control matter with our minds. Now, knowing what to do with these powers and how to use it is one thing, but the real meat of our story begins when these newly found superhumans begin to vanish. It takes a group of intrepid heroes to discover who is taking them, where they are taking them, and why they are taking them. Yes, Hybrids follows the story of superheroes. But it does more than that. It deals with loss, with faith, with hope, addiction, restoration, and community. And all from a different worldview than what is present in most entertainment today. Real life history with actual documents accepted by people of varying backgrounds and cultures feeds the imagination. That little hope inside of us all that wishes we were somehow more powerful than what we are fuels this dream. If knowing that you possess the DNA of an angel-human hybrid meant coming to terms with your belief or lack thereof in the supernatural, how would you handle that? What if the very thing that you are right now is enough? What if you never needed superpowers to save the day or inspire the masses? Maybe what connects us as a community isn't our ideals or identities, but our common purpose. The most interesting thing about a superhuman is not what makes them super, but what makes them human. We look at these things through the eyes of a normal guy who feels awkward in his own skin. The relationships and connections that form along the way leave a web of interpersonal dynamics. As one thread pulls another, shadows of our own life experiences and decisions can be seen throughout the story. Now don't get me wrong, there's plenty of action and the risks are high. Corporate greed and human trafficking are not the least among these very real threats. Time is of the essence and the outcome is uncertain. People are called to step up and differences are set aside for a greater cause. And not everyone is who you think they are. I'm confident that you will find enjoyment from this story and I encourage you to come along on the journey with me.